Oh, it'll be a few days before we get to see these. Jeez, nobody appreciates the art of a film of photography no more. Dear Tim and Moby, who was Alice Ball from Paul? Good question, Paul. Alice Augusta Ball was a chemist who developed an early treatment for leprosy, a disease that caused the skin to change color, grow lumps, and tear. And it also caused numbness, which meant and if people got injured, they might not be able to know it. And these injuries could get so infected that they lost fingers and toes. In the early 1900s, when Alice was doing her research, leprosy destroyed people's lives. But it wasn't the illness itself it, it, that was so destructive, it, it was the stigma or rejection by a society. For centuries, leprosy was thought to be a curse from God. Many societies saw it as punishment for a sin or a bad behavior. They thought that the people with le were just even getting what they absolutely deserved. So it was an impossible for them to get the care that they needed. And around the world, they were banished to be isolated villages for leprosy. Patients, and by the time Alice Augusta Ball was starting her own career, the world had basically given up on a cure. But when a doctor asked Alice for help in creating for a better treatment, she stepped up. Alice Augusta Ball was born in 1892 in Seattle, Washington. Her family was full of photographers, but back then, chemistry was part of the job. Alice saw them capture detailed images like using substances like iodine and mercury. And it was a magical introduction to the world, and she was hooked. She went on to study how chemicals can be used as medicines or pharmaceuticals. She enrolled at college in Hawaii and became the first woman and the first African American to earn a master's degree over there. But this was the early 1900s when women were discouraged from going to college. And most of America was rationally segregated. Black people were kept out of the school, restaurants, hospitals, and that white people ever used. But for Alice Augusta Ball, she was working on leprosy treatment was a chance to help free others from unfair restrictions. And it was also a fascinating and unconcord chemistry problem. And at the time, none of the available treatments for leprosy were very effective. In Asia, people found that an oil for Chattamugra oil trees bought some relief, but they were problems. Swallowing the drug caused intense nausea, so patients struggle to keep it down long enough for it to help. And injecting and it didn't even work so well either, but it burned something terribly. For ages, doctors and scientists have been searching for a better way to get the medicine into patients. Alice Augusta Ball was 23 years old and she was determined to find it. The problem with Chattamugra oil well, is that it is well as an oil. In the human body, it's mostly made of water, which doesn't even mix with oil either. And the Chattamugra can dis be dissolved in water, and it will work much better. Alice taught classes and labs during the day and worked the Chattamugra problem in her own free time. She focused on improving her sociability or ability but to be dissolved. But to do that, she had to get rid of the part of the chemical that keeps water away and replace with a new part that would attract water instead. And after tireless of the months of the expectation, she succeeded. Doctors began giving injections prepared using Alice's method. For the first time, many leprosy patients went into remission and all the signs of their disease disappeared. Instead of them getting banished, they were able to go home thanks to Alice's work. But tragically, Alice Augusta Ball never got to see that. Before her death of a long illness in 1916, shortly after her big discovery, she was only 24 years old but her work continued to be helping countless people around the world and remained the most effective leprosy treatment for decades. In Thailand, and it helped so many that the king gave her a Chattamogra 
Shri to the College of Hawaii as a thank you scientist for kept studying leprosy and today and it's curable to help end the stigma and has been renamed Hennessy's disease after the scientists discover its own. Hey, could you hold that sandwich up just a little bit for a minute, please? This economic will be a good day. Interesting. 